is your January 2020 reading. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so before I jump into this video, as always, I'd like to thank all of you who are subscribed to my channel. If you're brand new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. I drop videos weekly and I do these monthly reads now. This is something new for my channel. Also, for all personal reading inquiries, please see the heading in the description box below. Uh, book a reading and it will take you, there's a link to my Etsy there. It'll take you to my Etsy. You can book a personal reading if interested. All right. Getting into it, Aries, fire sign. <laughs> All right. So Aries, we're going to find out about your love life for the month of January. We're going to find out about your abundance for the month of January, as well as any spiritual messages or growth messages and anything you should uh, look out for in particular um, for the month of January in order to, you know, or how you can amplify this month uh, even more. All right, Aries, let's get into this. So first, we're going to break this down with the first 15 days in regards to your love life. So universe, thank you for the channel messages. What can Aries expect to happen in their love life the first 15 days of January 2020? The first 15 days of January 2020. Ah, way too many. Can Aries just expect to occur in their love life the first 15 days? Goodness. Two more cards, universe. Take those. Queen of Wands. Someone's going to be social. Just picked up Social Butterfly. First 15 days universe for Aries. What can they expect in their love life? Ah, okay. Let's see, one more. Here we go. Okay, so we got wedding. All right, so I got two for this. So I generally don't read these upside down. But with wedding in reverse, some of you may have gotten out of a serious commitment. Some of you may have gotten out of a marriage. Some of you may have broke off an engagement uh, within the last year. But let's see what you can expect, Pisces, in the first 15 days in regards to your love life. So we have the five of swords that came out in the reverse. Ooh, wow. Hair font came out in the reverse. So someone, okay, so now this makes sense too. Social butterfly. Some of you will be getting back out there dating. Um, I'm hearing that some of you will be alone still. But I'm hearing more so that's a self-choice, Aries. But some of you are quite, yeah, some of you are getting out of a serious engagement or a serious committed relationship of some kind. Or maybe an engagement. Knight of Pentacles. So definitely... In regards to some of you already have someone in mind when it comes to love. Some of you already have someone in mind. Some of you have began talking to someone at the end of last year. Oh, definitely. Four cups in reverse. So yeah, Pisces, you are definitely in tune with your romantic side. Ace of Wands. Yes. I just heard getting busy. <laughs> so yeah, while you're out here being a social butterfly, for what I'm picking up predominantly with the hair final reverse and with this wedding card that's at the bottom of the deck of the romance oracle some of you got out of a very serious relationship and some of you are just you're out here having fun you're out here being sociable you're out here dating but very much so you want love for some of you what i'm picking up is that for 2020 you really want a solid relationship aries and this is what you're ultimately looking for even if you are with temporary partners at the moment what I'm getting with this five of swords that plans did not really go the way you wanted them to in regards to your last relationship. So I'm getting more so that this is you. It's almost like you're in a dual energy these first two weeks. 
you're in an energy of where you want to have fun and you're also in an energy where you are looking for that one but i am picking up that i'm also i'm picking up that that for some of you you will either be involved with someone it's like you you'll be involved with two people you're involved with someone who you you really want to give this this offer to you or you want an offer to be made to you but also you're involved with someone that's more in this energy because i'm picking up some a bit of not deceit just more so withholding what you truly want from someone pisces i'm, I'm sorry not pisces aries ah yes you're nursing your broken heart what i tell you you someone just got out of a serious relationship in these first two weeks in january you're you're nursing your broken heart i'm picking up parties like not even like NYE parties, but like parties like you're you're going to be celebrating prolonged because you're trying to get out of this broken commitment energy with that wedding in reverse at the bottom of the deck with this hair font that came out in reverse. So let's see what else is going to be going on with you, Aries, the first two weeks in regards to love, honeymoon. So, yeah, I keep getting that um, for the majority of you watching this, you will be going out. I keep. I'm getting a Netflix and chill vibe though. You have someone that you're definitely crazy about or they're, you're crazy about right now. I'm getting a, a stable right now energy. Uh oh, reconciliation. Some of you, that person who broke your heart, uh, this hair fine in reverse, this person is coming back in. For some of you, I'm not picking up that the first two weeks you will be back into I love you mode. Even though there's still love there, you know, or relationship mode, this would be more so of communication. There's going to be communication. Some of you will meet up with this person for coffee I'm picking up or some type of drink, whether it's alcohol, coffee, evening, daytime. But you'll be meeting up with this person again. Ah, past life. So, yeah, definitely there's someone coming back. I'm picking up for some of you with this reconciliation, though, that this past life situation and this reconciliation situation are two different things. Definitely with the new year coming in, and I feel like I've gotten this with majority of the messages that I've done thus far, that you're, you're getting a hey stranger, you know, hey big head, happy new year type thing. And they're utilizing the new year as a way to come back in. For some of you, that relationship that's kind of torn apart, they're using the new year as a way to come back in to reconcile. But for some of you too, there's someone coming back from the past that I'm picking up that, that you you have long gone forgotten about this person and they are definitely coming back for some of you this is somebody that you really wanted and you kind of put on the back burner and maybe got into a different relationship and thought that they were long gone and i'm picking up that some of you are going to give this person a chance there's going to be a lot of flirting between some of you in this past life this could be the one i told you these first 15 days you're out there it's like what I'm picking up is like one of your 2020 resolutions was I'm finding the one this year. That's what I'm picking up for you, Aries. Like you are making it your duty to find the one. And I am picking up relatively soon. You're going to be dating someone, but I'm picking up more. So you'll be, you'll find, you'll have this right now. And this is you and your energy, this five of swords, not really letting that person in or not really letting them know or not really telling them what your true intentions are. But I am getting that that person is going to really cling to you. And at the same time, I'm getting either you're going to have another person that you really want to manifest this relationship with or give this offer to or have an offer given to you. I am picking up that this person may be an, uh, a earth sign, a heavy. I'm picking up heavy earth sign. Um, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, maybe your person was a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or maybe you're the cross watcher and you're the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and this is your Aries. But definitely, uh, if this is not a solid person, you're still searching for this person, even if you have this person over here. That's what I'm picking up with that one. Oh, wow. So, you know what, Aries? Of all the readings I've done thus far, you are the first one starting the year with a bang. <laughs> a literal bang. <laughs> LOL. All right. So, let's get into the second week of January, Aries. Let's find out. Just let's find out who you'll be banging lol let's keep it pg-13 pg that was pg-13 anyways universe cars are anxious yeah you're going to be anxiously dating where people are going to be anxiously awaiting you all right universe tell us what can aries expect to happen in their love life 
for the second half of January. And excuse my voice, you all. It's the holidays. I've been speaking at an extremely loud volume. So my, my vocal cords are going in and out. So hopefully by the time I get to the rest of the videos, my voice comes back in. Take some tea. All right. Oh, that helped. All right. So universe, the second half of January, what can Aries expect to happen in their love life? Ooh. Second half of January is happening in Aries love life universe. Second half of January is happening in Aries love life. Second half of January. Want one, one more? Yep, I do. Second half of January. What's happening? There we go. Uh oh, I saw it again. All right, yeah. You're not waiting to. Yeah. It's like you know what you want. You're not waiting for fate to happen for you. You're taking that action. You know what you want. You may have been indecisive, Aries, about maybe settling down, or for those of you where the situation where you're coming out of commitment. Um, where that situation applies you may have been indecisive about taking action on do you want to stay in that commitment some of you may have broken up with that person because you were indecisive but you've decided you're in that night of pentacles energy for sure so second half of january love life aries universe what's occurring for aries second half uh oh <laughs> i see it you got you also you are hitting the ground running aries second half of january love life aries passion at the bottom of the deck for Aries second so yeah you, I, I keep on getting this even with your Netflix and chill vibe Aries like you are having this is a hot winter for you like you're hitting the ground running Aries like you just are it's like you have somebody for right now you have somebody waiting in the wings uh, or you will have somebody and, and to whatever degree that you're comfortable with either you're going to be I am picking up a lot of for those of you that are looking for a casual situation while you're looking or or looking for a casual situation while you're nursing a broken heart or just a casual situation I am picking up hot and heavy you'll have someone solid in the month of January so very much so hot and heavy so let's see Yep, what I tell you, reconciliation is someone coming back in. So so for the person that is making their way back into your life, uh, Aries, in the first week of or the first two weeks of January, this yeah, these conti these continuations. I want to say conversations and continuation at the same time. But these conversations will continue and you all are getting even closer. So I'm picking up for some of you, what I'm picking up is too. You have that person that you're going to be laying with at night, just hanging out with or just casually with. But you're going to be almost like secretly courting this other romance. You know, you're going to be entertaining this other romance for someone from the past. That's what I'm picking up. Then we have, oh, wow. What did I tell you what you were looking for? Look at that. That's that legacy. We got the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. You're looking for this. You're setting this up now. You got it in your mind like. I'm going to do this at the top of the year. You're coming. Yeah, you're coming in strong. Like you're, yeah, you're coming in strong in January. Uh, magician in the reverse. Uh, so with, what I'm getting with the magician in reverse, though, this is what you're after. Essentially, we saw in the first half of the month and the second half of the month, you're not going to necessarily manifest the relationship itself in the month of January, but you're going to have pretty strong contenders. Like I said, for some of you, you are bringing some, someone's coming back and you're going to reconcile with them. Uh, for some of you, you're reconciling from the relationship that just ended in the past, uh, this past, uh, year and the last few months. Uh, but definitely it's happening. I'm picking up, you know, I'm picking up February. I'm picking up, I'm picking up Valentine's Day is when you're going to have your solid person. It's like, you, yeah you're coming out of frustrations it's like whatever whatever hurt and harm or just wherever you were in regards to your love life aries you are completely coming out of that i'm seeing you i'm see, i'm just seeing you you distract yourself in healthy ways i'm seeing you you know go out with friends i'm seeing you you know go out with other people really explore different avenues 
in regards to not allowing yourself to stay stuck in heartbreak. Yeah, but yeah, right here. You're not ready yet, though, in the second week to nurture a relationship. So it's on it's on its way because we still have the energies of the Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. So it's definitely on this way. I'm telling you, I'm picking up. You're going to if you've been single for a while, even I'm picking up someone for Valentine's Day. I'm picking up a date on Valentine's Day. I'm seeing somebody wear all white like this, like a cute all white two piece some type of dress that has lace in it too so i'm seeing something that may be lingerie but i'm seeing you all out in this yeah very cute so and some of you already have your valentine's day outfit ready even if you don't have the person in mind so yeah you're definitely going to be spending your valentine's day with either someone new uh someone old someone borrowed someone blue um but yeah you're going to be spending your valentine's day aries with someone Someone nice, someone that you are romantically looking forward to spend your day with. Yep, but that's wow. And the crazy thing, you all, this flipped over a couple of times for the first half of January. The first, so you're not single at all. And, and by single, yeah, you may be single in the regards to okay, so you're not in a relate, but you're not, you're not spending your nights alone. I can tell you that. Um, and in regards to what I'm getting for those of you who may be watching this and you're in a relationship, what I'm hearing is if you've been feeling a bit isolated in your relationship or you've been feeling a little bit stagnant or like you're ready to get let go of that relationship, you're going to be doing some reevaluations in regards to your relationship and you're going to figure out what you want to do. Because remember, you've, you've decided to take the action. So if you've been thinking to leave, you're going to make that decision to finally do what it is in your heart to do that's going to be most healthy for you. So let's find out for the second half of January what the Romance Oracle is saying. Give your relationship a chance. Wow, didn't I just say this to you couples? For those of you that's in a relationship, you're going to be either going to decide to stay or leave. You've, you, you've made up your mind. And for a lot of you, you're going to give your relationship a chance. A lot of you, that reconciliation, you're going to decide to give that a chance a lot of you that past life person coming back in you're gonna you're gonna give that a chance keep an open mind this i'm getting casual energy okay so i got double things coming in for this one for some of you this keep an open mind this is the person coming back in and this is you keeping an open mind to to give them another chance because this may be someone who really jaded you in the past and you're telling yourself okay They've changed. I see the change. Let me try this. For some of you, for some of you, I picked up, I picked up threesomes. I said you're having fun. You, you, you know, for those of you, if that's fun for you, um, I'm just, you are living your wild and free because for some of you, you're, you were really in this frustrated energy. And for some of you, you're like really trying to get up. I'm seeing, and, and maybe even that means like, you know, you're going out on multiple dates at once, but I'm just, yeah, you're not going to be shut in. New love. I told you you're dating around. New love is coming in. For some of you, this new love means a renewal with the relationship that you already have. For some of you, this means a uh, renewal of the of the reconciliation or the past life person that's coming in. Where is it? This right here. This is that reconciliation or that past life. And the overall theme for those last two, two weeks are passion, whether the person's temporary or not. Passion, 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 but you got new love coming in most definitely for giving and learning. So a lot of you are giving your relationship a chance. Couples, I got this strong for you. You are giving your relationship a chance because you're forgiving and learning. You're doing better. Some of you are going into couples counseling. I just heard that. And for some of you, you're forgiving and learning. And this is why you're, you're keeping an open mind and letting that reconciliation occur and letting that past life relationship occur because you're keeping that open mind and you're forgiving. You're forgiving and you're learning from the past. And you're not repeating. I'm getting, you're not repeating because I just heard 2020. I'm hearing that 2020, a lot of you have decided you want marriage. If you don't want marriage, then you want a committed relationship. But I'm definitely picking up commitment and marriage for those who want marriage. I'm picking up engagement for 2020 overall for you, Aries. And if you're already engaged, that marriage happening. And if your marriage is just kind of in a, uh, I'm hearing, you know, stay together or I'm hearing some of you. I'm hearing them for some, you know, I'm hearing divorce. But overall, I'm hearing that, you know, for those who want love, those who, you know, even if it is, even if you are in a relationship that you don't want to be in, I'm hearing that you're going to go find the love that you're looking for, whether it's self-love. But I'm hearing moving up to a higher commitment in your relationship. So I am picking up heavy for the collective on engagement and marriage in the year 2020 for Aries. 
All right. So let's get into your abundance, your career, your money. All right. So universe, what can Aries expect in career and money for the month of January? What's happening in Aries life for career and money for the month of January? Two more cards. What's going on with Aries in the month of January for career and money? Ah, someone's finances may be a little bit unbalanced. Maybe somebody's overindulging. That's what I'm getting with this two of coins in reverse. Someone's overindulging. I'm not really picking up big on transition into a new uh, work situation. For some of you, you are. For some of you, this may be because of a move that you're making in January. I'm here picking up new new apartment or maybe into a house. For some of you, you're moving in with family. I'm picking that up too. Um, but I am picking because of the, the, maybe the holiday. I told you this is a party month for you. So I'm picking up that your finances may not low as in depleted, but lower than what you, they, they normally are because you are really out there celebrating well beyond, uh, New Year's Eve. We have the page of swords, page of swords. So what I'm getting with the page of swords, that won't be much difference in your career. I'm picking up that you're not even necessarily looking for a new job. Of course, this doesn't apply for those who are looking for a new job. Remember, this is a general overall monthly reading for Aries. So take what, what, what resonates and don't take what does not resonate. But for those that this resonates, I'm not hearing that you're going to pick up a new job. I'm not hearing that much will change in regards to your career life, but in regards to finances, you will be spending maybe a lot more than, you know, maybe not a lot more, but more than what you want. Uh, and then for those of you who are, who did come here, you know, with a job message, but see, I'm getting more so you're looking into the different possibilities because once again, I'm picking up somebody is, I'm not picking up that you are having a horrible time at work. But I'm picking up that you are in the point, you're at the point where you want to grow, where you're looking to grow. For some of you, you're looking to go back to school, to a program. I'm picking up some, that may be grad school, I picked up business school. Um, some of you have an associate, you want to go and get your bachelor's. So you're, you're, you're looking at the different possibilities. You're, you're weighing out your options right now. You're not making that solid action just as of yet, but you're weighing out your options because definitely, in regards to where most of your focus is right now in the month of January, it's definitely on your social life. But you're definitely weighing out your options. This is something that's going to manifest more so in March. That's what I'm picking up for you, Aries, in regards to job trans transition or really taking the time out to apply to those programs that you want to be a part of or certifications. Uh, yeah, we have these six of swords that came out in the reverse. So, yeah. A lot of you in regards to money and career, you're not moving forward as of yet. You you don't even, even though you may be looking, you don't have a solid plan. You don't have it strongly in mind as of yet. So you're not taking any of those like solid steps to go forward in any new career. So it's like you're good, you're good where you are, where you, where you are. <laughs> It's like you are good where you are at the moment, but things will change in the immediate future after you take some of the focus off of your um, private life, personal pleasure life. Because for some of you, I'm picking up, I'm picking up that you have been a workaholic in the past. For some of you that are watching this, I'm picking up that, you know, you, you work a lot. Like maybe you work the holidays and you just, you worked a lot. And so now you're in this energy where it's like, you know, you want to play and, and you've chosen the month of 20, of the month of 2020. You've chosen January 2020 to be your month of play. You're just, you're ready. Oh wow. This queen came out again. So I am picking up a bit of dissatisfaction. Uh, maybe I'm picking up that you're getting like, you know, maybe you're in like a day to day. It's like a, you know, even if you're, even if you earn well at your job, it, it's like, you're just, you know, you're just making it through each day. It's like, okay, I'm just, I'm here. I do my job. I go home. I'm picking up that, you know, for a lot of you, you felt bored in your life. Um, you know, like things have been quite boring for you. So it's like, I'm not picking you really. It's like you invest in your career and your job that is your current, you know, or even if you if you're not working, you're in. It's like, you know, what I'm trying to say you you. You do a good job if you're working as you're working, but it's like you really don't want to be there. Like I'm seeing you like with this Queen of Pentacles. It's funny because like as her head hangs low, I'm like, I'm just seeing someone just 
it's like you're staring out the window most of the time and maybe you do stare out the window a lot it's like you don't really want to be there and this is why you know all your fun you're having in january but i'm picking up aries you don't really want to be there right now that's what i'm picking up with that and this is what's going to lead you to making those solid decisions and choices in regards to business in the month of uh march and lastly oh wow oh wow so here we go look look what came both came out again so it's like you're frustrated you're frustrated and what i'm hearing is like i keep hearing about this thing of dissatisfaction you're not very satisfied in the current role that you are in right now maybe you know some of you are satisfied with the actual job or the actual company but you're not satisfied at the place that you want so many of you are going to be you've been thinking about this and many of you are going to take this into your own hands and elevate yourself either to the new position within a company or or wherever you are or you're going to i'm, I'm hearing a lot of you are going to go back and get secondary certifications and and uh educations in regards to get yourself out of this frustrated energy because i'm hearing yeah i'm seeing that there's a lot of frustration in regards to work there's just a lot of i'm, I'm just i'm more so i'm i'm hearing and i'm seeing just someone who's just like showing up and yeah you may do your job you know to your greatest ability but you're still just there you know it's like okay I'll, it's like a painted smile that's what i'm picking up for you painted smile it's like okay i'm here let's get this show on the road you know like you know what i'm saying like so you're really it's not that you're wilding out for january but you're really taking your personal life your your social life serious because you're so dissatisfied i'm thinking and of course this will not resonate with everybody but for those that it does that it does resonate for you're not very satisfied in your current work situation so it's like you're utilizing your social life to kind of get out what you crave in that work situation but yeah this will turn around in march i'm picking that up all right so let's find out um aries any growth messages spirituality and growth what will you be working on in regards to that this month spirituality and growth hold on i'm feeling to grab a different oracle I'm here to grab a different oracle. Okay. Spirit gives me the gives me these messages. I can barely talk today. Words are getting fluttered. But yeah. When I get them, I get them and I listen. Cause every reading you all, I don't use the same cards. You know, I go according to the energy according to what the universe is guiding me towards all right so spirituality and growth aries i almost called you guys unicorns what is what is that universe unicorn okay someone may love unicorns <laughs> um i heard i told you i, I got that strong 3b5 over there so so yeah, alrighty, uh, let's get into spirituality and growth for the month of January for Aries, universe, spirituality and growth messages for Aries, give me two more, uh, there we are, three more, I feel that one too, okay, I'm going to keep pulling these. But I am feeling the three at the top. Golden opportunities. All right. So some things are going to be changing around for you. Okay. I am feeling to pull these things. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I got to feel the energy. What am I? No, not that. No, not that. Not that. Okay. All right. Universe, any spirituality and growth messages for Aries from this Oracle deck? Parents, you. Okay, any spirituality? Any more from this deck? More from this deck? This deck. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm getting. I have a, I am, 
I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Told you, not only are you finding love with, you know, you're finding your, your one, that, that commitment, but yeah, you are just, you are in personal over, I don't want to say overload because it's not that, but you're really focusing on your personal life, um, your social life more specifically. And I keep picking up the vibe that you're someone that maybe neglects that a lot. So we have purification. Uh, it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and your mind. So and I just, I picked up meditation with this. For some of you, maybe you've made a commitment or you're going to make a commitment to meditate more. Or some of you, I am picking up that, you know, for some of the readings that I've been doing, and this is the top of the year, but I'm picking up for you as well. Some of you, you're making a commitment to go back to the gym to just be overall healthy. I'm getting a health message with that one. Golden opportunities, though, is at the bottom of that deck. So you got things coming on the horizon. Undying love. I told you, this is your month full of passion and love. You're chasing that hard. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. Somebody's coming back for real. Somebody's coming back for real, but you're paying attention, Aries, to what they're saying. But this person is coming back changed. So it's going to be up to you. The ball is in your court. Inner goddess. I told you, you all are in this passion energy. Man, Aries. I mean, honestly, like, I love this and I'm getting partly jealous. <laughs> I wish my sign was, was going this hard in regards to just personal life, social life this, this month. Granted, it's a, it's a beautiful reading still, but still. You are just not playing with when it comes to what it is that you want to manifest. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. I told you you're going out. <laughs> you, I'm just, I'm seeing you in the mirror, just really, you know, getting your hair done, your outfit, you're looking good, you know, just everything is together. You're pampering yourself. Yeah, that's why your, your finances are kind of, you know, like this, because you're pampering yourself. You're not caring. You, you're, literally creating that feeling you're that's how you're going to turn that magician upside down you know well right side up rather because you're manifesting through feeling and that's how you get what you want you got to feel it and you're feeling this goddess energy you know male or female you're feeling that god energy goddess and you are oh my gosh fairness remember i told you forgiving and learning this is this is that lesson uh, this, this situation will be handled with fair and just manner. So for some of you, if you've been holding on to something, you're letting that thing go. And for a lot of you, I'm hearing this is in relation to the person, uh, in regards to love life coming back, that reconciliation. Cause the right person from the reconciliation is different from the person from your past life relationship. That past life relationship is someone that has sailed on and you may have forgotten about or just had given up on in regards to love but reconciliation is that person that, that was just in a situation with you either you who are an aries or the cross watcher who is looking for you know looking at your aries love uh that situation is gonna i'm hearing that this person's gonna drop their pride this pr pride is gonna be dropped in that situation bright future Ooh, wow uh stop worrying everything is going to be fine oh my goodness so for those of you in regards to if you're worried about career yeah, and even love, this this is heavy for that love situation. It's happening. It's here. Um 2020 January for you. It's wow. Prosperity. Yeah, so what I'm getting so even I told you, even though you're spending a lot this month, you're not worried about your money. You're definitely not worried about your money. I'm just hearing this is your year of huge manifestation. Anything you want, like anything you speak of out of your mouth, uh, Aries, is happening for you. Uh, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Yeah. For some of you, I'm picking up a heavy introverted energy. Maybe you're very introverted and that's why you're kind of going, <laughs> you're going ham this, um, January in regards to your social life because you're, you know, you're used to, you know, just being in it. I told you I'm hearing all work, no play. And you're just like, you know what? Whatever. We're just going hard for some of you. I'm picking up a trip to Vegas, even impromptu. Like you are just out there. Expect a miracle. Wow. Golden opportunities for man Aries. Wow. <laughs> I wish this was my month of January in regards to everything that you're manifesting. Wow. 
Wow. And of course, for anybody watching, this can be any of you, you know, in regards to the, you know, this is just the immediate energy, but the, you can be the one to manifest any and everything that you want. But yeah, expect a miracle. So I told you I'm picking up marriage. I'm picking up engagement. I'm picking up committed relationships. I'm picking up that, that person who did you wrong, you know, love wise, or even those friends coming back and apologizing and getting it right. I'm hearing you be able to get things restored or things are going to be restored to you and for some of you you don't want that last situation back and that's perfectly fine because you have a greater new situation coming in like literally you have the choice right now uh aries that's what i'm getting from the universe it is it's up to you like it's yours no matter what um endings and beginnings yep where are we where are we what is it the old must be released so that the new can come in i told you some of you that's that forgiving and learning that's that forgiven and learning. Some of you are letting that thing go. You just wanted that apology, but it's being handled with fairness. So don't you worry about that because it's not even like a thing about karma that I'm getting. It's more so like a thing about the scales will be weighed out, that type of thing, where that person realized the, you know, I'm picking up a separation of three months for some of you, and that person realized, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Even if I know that this won't work out between us, I should have never treated them like that. Yeah, this is your year. And for some of you, I'm hearing it. So for some of you, you've even prayed for that um, uh, that apology that's coming into you from that past partner. Remember, I told you I'm picking up for some married couples or committed partners that was in that two of wands reverse energy. You've made your decision to leave. The old has to be done with for the new to come in. And I'm picking up that self-love journey. High priestess, you have divine knowledge that, that can help others get through um, with your spiritual teaching. So you're getting really in tune with yourself. Um, and if you're someone that's already really in tune, you're just really staying, you, you're either getting reconnected or you're staying connected. You're just being true to yourself. For those of you, I'm picking up that I told you that you want the relationships in. And for some of you, I am picking up heavy that you've been contemplating divorce. You're going to, you just, it's like you're being real with yourself. And it's like, it's not that I don't love them. But I have to go. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. Trey songs. That's what I'm hearing. And compassion. So even though what I'm picking up too. Though that situation, relationships may have may be ending for this is for the married people. You're going to do it in compassion, but you're listening to your higher self. It's like you can't keep going on. That's what I'm feeling with that. You can't keep going on ignoring that because you're not happy. But yeah, compassion, release judgment, judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and the light that is within everyone. So, yeah, you are. That's that forgiving and learning lesson. That's that's your glow up for January. That forgiving and learning. You're learning to be more empathetic towards others as well that's what i'm getting with that like understanding you know what this is who they are this is where they are and instead of me being upset and, and hating them or being mad i'm going to just release them in love and that's why some of you are getting that divorce oh wow and not that i'm advocating anybody's relationship breaking up ever so don't ever you know and you did not get divorced because of a random reader on youtube but i'm just picking up what i'm picking up in the energy i'm just reading what i'm picking up in the energy Oneness is my true nature. You get that high priestess. You're getting into it with self. That's your glow up spiritually and your growth. And through prayer. Oh, wow. I said that some of you have been praying and meditating. Um, and if you're not, re, um, if you don't subscribe to any religion, you know, you've just been getting real with yourself. You've been saying out loud. Maybe you've been journaling like, yo, this is what I'm really feeling, you know. But through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world i told you that's the manifestation message you've been outwardly speaking your intention you've been saying it i'm picking up anything you touch turns to gold you are manifesting and you're getting in that feeling you all are master manifestors everybody essentially is but you all are really getting it this month um aries yeah this is i keep picking up this is the year that you're going to manifest everything that you want those are those overall solid messages that i'm getting for you aries just strong wow this is amazing i can't wait to read the rest of the year as we go through the months for you all um definitely because you are entering january 2020 with a legit bank and that's what's real all right so very quickly let's see any any things that you should be cautious of any warnings from the universe and when i say warnings i don't mean like you know watch out for that tree type of thing but anything you know universe messages for aries cautionary messages for aries any more cards cautionary messages for aries i thought i'll keep going just a little bit more 
cautionary messages for Aries for January 2020. Surrender your ego. Some of you are going to let have to let that pride go. That's at the bottom of that deck. But that's in regards to that person. Resentments. We got that message over there. So cautionary messages for you. Surrender to inner peace. Calm down. Uh, for some of you, you may feel guilty in this month while you're really focusing on your um, personal life, social life, love life. But it's time for you to surrender to inner peace. That goes back to that meditation and getting in that quiet space. Ooh, getting in the quiet space. The words are coming so fast. The message is just coming so fast. I'm talking about myself. Surrender the drama. So for some of you, it's like, but this is more so going back to that marriage. Um, it's like that, that relationship was such a strain. I'm really hearing a situ. I'm hearing that you want to let go. I'm not telling you to let go. I'm hearing that you want to let go and you've decided 2020, you're going to cut these cords. This is, this is for you. Surrender to play. So what I'm getting with the surrender to play, because we are picking up that you're going to be in a queen of wands, very active energy, but because, you know, you're going to be indulging quite a bit, you know, just, just be mindful, you know, maybe keep track of your finances. Maybe, you know, just be mindful. I'm, I'm picking up some people are coming late to work. Um, not that you're normally tardy, but some people are gonna, you just, you're really indulging this month. So just be mindful, you know, keep an eye. Surrender stubbornness. Let this thing go. For some of you, this has to do with that surrender your ego. This has a lot to do with that pride. Um, in regards to this goes back to that forgiving and learning. Be open to that lesson. You know, don't immediately chop the person down. Even if you don't believe that they're coming back sincerely, let them get out the words first. The universe will reveal their true their truth to you surrender um outdated beliefs of yourself so i told you some of you are going back um you're looking to go back to school you're looking to go to a new job even but that's not going to manifest really until march but surrender these old beliefs surrender this this um uh, what is it that I'm, I'm trying to say thank you universe it's like this self-sabotaging air or this this is where I am because I'm picking up some pessimism. Maybe you are you're kind of a pessimist or you're, you're too real. You know, you're a realist, but you're just too real. And it's like, no, surrender. So you got miracles and golden opportunities coming up for you. Surrender to those what ifs and woes and wows and stuff like that, that it will happen for you. Surrender to passion came out. To, wow. Surrender to passion. Um, but in regards to being um, cautionary about this, uh, because remember, I told you that I'm picking up on that five of swords in reverse. That was you not really divulging to someone. Because I am picking up that this month, someone will be really crazy about you, but you might not be as crazy about them. So just kind of watch that or maybe let this person know off the bat. Hey, um, when I say I'm not looking for a relationship, you know, I, I don't want this. You know, it's nothing against you. I just don't feel maybe we're compatible. You know, like if you're going to go off and have fun, don't don't be cruel. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm picking up with that. Because, you know, this is something that may come back, you know. So it's like, watch how you dish that situation out for those of you that are in that casual energy, not to hurt or harm. It's the difference if the person break their own heart, but don't lead them on so they can break their own, you know. Just just watch it because because you're really looking for for that solid that you're you're that Knight of Pentacles or you're someone you're the cross watcher and you're looking for that Knight of Pentacles or you're an Aries looking for the Knight of Pentacles to come in. Just, you know, be don't be cruel, you know, have fun, but be responsible when it comes to the um, feelings and emotions of other people. And wow, surrender your belief in scarcity. So what I'm hearing the universe say in cautionary just don't don't let that negative thinking come in for some of you there may be a dry spell within this year where you feel like okay so she said i was going to be manifesting this great love where is it at don't let those negative emotions come in because those are the remember i told you everything you're saying everything you touch turns to gold everything you're feeling you don't want this to manifest in the opposite if everything that you're saying and feeling is manifesting then you want to manifest everything you're saying and you're feeling and that's not the negative thing that's the positive that's the you know what it's blank 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 month and i just know they're coming in they're they're showing up that's all i know that's the energy you want to stay in all right aries thank you so much for tuning in to your monthly reading for january 2020 let me know in the comment section how you felt about this reading Please keep in mind, everybody, this is a general reading for the general collective of all of you who share the Aries sign, Aries energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as any cross watchers because, you know, you may be in love with an Aries or you just might be curious. Either way, 
keep that in mind. If you want a personal reading, you know what to do. Go to my description box, book a reading with me. And that'll be just for you on your personal energy. And that'll go off all of you. And yeah, so yeah, the link to my Etsy is there. And until next time, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff. Till next time, I will be seeing you in the next video. All right, peace and blessings. Goodbye.